Now, if you found tissue glide is restricted in the lumbar spine, for example, if the tissue glide was restricted superiorly, you would take up the slack of all the tissue moving superiorly, use another hand as counter pressure over the sacrum, and move that hand inferiorly, such that the glide has your hands moving a force in opposite directions, taking up the slack to stretch the tissues between my palms, as such. And make sure your elbows drop down, make sure your fingers are relaxed, don't allow yourself to be hyperextended or have fingers tense in the air. Let everything relax, you'll perceive more motion in the tissue, and also the patient will be encouraged to relax at the same time. To achieve the release, you simply take up the slack in a given area, wait approximately 90 to 120 seconds for the release, which will feel as if you're able to just put as much pressure as possible here and not receive any additional motion. No matter how hard I push, that is the end of taking up the slack. That's the barrier to the motion. So hold that barrier for that 90 to 120 seconds. And after about that much time, you'll start to feel the tissues will begin to glide or creep. That's called tissue creep. It's very subtle lengthening of the tissues that will be heralded by slight movement of the tissues underneath your hands, which may be appreciated by the client as well. It's good to educate the client while you're holding the technique, holding the stretch, let them know you're stretching the tissues to help to achieve a greater range of motion, and also let them know that working on deep breathing will help to facilitate the release and also to help them to be more comfortable. So have them work on some abdominal breathing exercises. Okay, so there's a little release right there. How does that feel, Tommy? Feels pretty good. Feel just a little lengthening? Mm-hmm. Okay, so always communicate with the patients exactly what they feel. Make sure it matches what your perception is of the motion. And I'll follow through into another release. I've taken up the slack again. I'll wait that 90 to 120 seconds or whatever time it takes. You may find on people with very high tone issues, it may take several minutes. I've had releases occur in a matter of several seconds. So it's really up to the individual patient. Go by your sensation of the release. Go by the change in the tissue creep and the improvement of mobility to decide when to disengage.